For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Michelle Wargo. Lake County School Superintendent Susan Moxley recently told school board members the district had passed the 90-day moratorium in place to not demolish Dabney Elementary School. Florida Agriculture and Mechanical University was previously interested in the property, but no more. Claremont officials want you to shop local this holiday, inviting you to check out many of the downtown area businesses participating in a window decorating contest with a Nutcracker Sweet theme. Each downtown shop is also placing stickers on gifts that read, especially for you, a gift from downtown Claremont, to help further spread the message. In other shopping-related news, changes are continuing at the Lake Square Mall. Exterior painting started Tuesday and a new mall sign with a digital screen on 441 is being planned. The city of Claremont is known to locals as a bike-friendly community. Well, now the police force is expanding its bicycle unit. Of the 61 officers in the department, a dozen are now certified and have received special training for the department's police bicycle unit. And a former Swamp Brothers star and his business partner in the Glades Herp Farm in Sumter County have been sentenced on charges of conspiracy to traffic federally protected reptiles. As part of its day-long exposure to local media, the Class of Leadership Lake County covered a mock exercise involving an Ebola scare. In the mock scenario, a man returned from a mission trip to Africa, and a neighbor mistakenly thought he had Ebola, prompting an assault and attempted arson. For more information on these stories, visit dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News and 90 on LSTV. I'm Michelle Wargo.